What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the size New Balance 1906R in this mindful gray colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Quality. Quality, for those who haven't heard of them before, is a Montreal based streetwear brand and recently they just launched their first wave of their spring and summer 2023 line which includes a ton of very wearable pieces just like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. So in typical quality fashion, their pieces are very timeless, very wearable, but they're also very stylish as well. And it's a brand that I've been rocking for years now, and the pieces that I own, they've lasted me for years with no quality issues whatsoever. So if you guys are curious to learn more about quality and check them out, I'll link their website, their social media, all that good stuff down below, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this right here is a size exclusive New Balance 1906R, and I want to give a huge thank you over to Size Canada for sending me over this pair. So these are still available on Size Canada's website and they retail for a price of 195 Canadian dollars, which is roughly 145 US dollars converted. So the official colorway for this shoe is black top, mindful gray and steel, and the style code for this shoe is M1906RSA. And like I mentioned earlier, this colorway is exclusive to size, so I don't think any other retailer is able to carry these. So the New Balance 1906R has been a pretty popular option for New Balance fans worldwide. It's very similar in many ways to the 2002R, obviously because it utilizes the exact same tooling, but the upper of the shoe is pretty different, which makes it unique and stand out in its own way, while still incorporating the comfort that we know and love. So as we dive into the details of this shoe, you'll see here that the base layer of the sneaker is constructed out of an open style mesh. So the mesh on the toe box is done in this grey color, and we have this leather hit which holds the laces, and here in the center we have the New Balance end logo in black. Overlaid on top of the toe box, we have this asymmetrical synthetic leather, which is done in more of a tan color, and you'll see that it covers the sides of the toe box as well. However, covering the front toe cap, we have more of that synthetic leather, and this is done in a sail or off-white color. Moving downwards, so you'll see the middle two eyelets are constructed out of this black color textile, and this actually extends downwards down to the base of the shoe, and it crosses through the New Balance N logo, and this is what New Balance calls their N lock technology, so you can imagine when you tighten up the laces in this midfoot area, it'll increase the tension in this midfoot area, tightening it up and giving you more of that side-to-side -side containment and support. Underneath the New Balance end logo, the mesh here is done in this dark grey color. And then next to this, we have more of these synthetic leather overlays in this off-white color. And on the lateral side only, we have 1906R branding. Surrounding the back of the shoe, we have this large black color TPU heel cup, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And right in the middle, we have NB for New Balance, and the very top of the heel is covered in these three strips of Reflective 3M in black, and the mesh surrounding this area is once again done in that grey color. As far as the laces go, so these only come with one lace option, and they're a flat style lace done in this burnt orange sort of tone. So these laces feel very soft and broken in straight out of the box, and underneath this, the tongue is lined in that same open style mesh, this time done in this tan color. And then running down the center of the tongue, we have this black colored synthetic leather. And here we have New Balance running branding found at the very top. The back of the tongue and the interior liner of the shoe, this is lined in this burnt orange colored terry cloth like material, which gives it a very cozy and fuzzy feel. And as far as the insoles go, so these come with an ortholite branded foam insole, which feels decently padded to the touch. It's covered in a mesh liner on the top, and stamped on the heel, we have New Balance 1906R branding. So the upper of this pair sits atop this full length Absorb Foam Midsole. So the midsole is painted in this tan color, but we have a black color hit on the lateral side underneath the forefoot. And in addition to the Absorb and Absorb SBS, we also have New Balance's Energy Technology, which is visible with these gel-like pillars found on the lateral side of the heel, and this helps with impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so this outsole is your traditional New Balance 1906R outsole, which is the exact same outsole you'll see on the 2002R as well, which fun fact, this is originally taken from the New Balance 860 V2 silhouette. We have this diamond shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, along with these grooves to give you added flexibility, and in the middle, underneath the rubber, we have this tan or beige colored TPU shank plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology, and this helps with the torsional rigidity and the midfoot support of this shoe. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 1906R, and for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other 1906Rs, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. 
So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, meaning when I step on a Brannock device in a shoe store, it actually measures as a size 10 in between a D and an E width. So Size Canada sent me this pair over in a size 10, and they fit me perfectly in a slightly snug way. It's not snug enough that I'd want to go up a half size, but overall just give me a very cozy, very comfy one-to-one -one fit, which is generally how I like my shoes to feel. So whatever size you normally wear in the 1906R, I'd recommend just sticking with that same size for this pair. And if you've never worn this model before, to give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 in the 2002R, the 997 and the 990V2 because I find that those two specific models have a bit more of a narrow toe box. And I also stick true to size in a lot of made in UK models like the 991, 1500 and 1530 and in comparison I go a half size down to a 9.5 in a lot of other New Balance silhouettes like the 990V3, V4, V5, the 992, the 993 and a lot of my 550s as well. Moving on to the comfort, so the 1906R in my opinion is a very comfortable shoe. It utilizes the same tooling as the 2002R which makes it a very comfortable shoe for everyday casual use. It's going to give you that good balance of softness and squishiness, but it's not going to be overly soft and mushy. And the upper of the shoe obviously is very airy, very lightweight, as it utilizes this open style mesh. So it's going to be a shoe that requires zero break in time. So you open up the box, put them on feet, and right away they're going to be extremely comfortable. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality honestly was pretty poor. So this is more of a performance oriented looking shoe. It does not utilize very premium materials. So with that said, the upper is largely synthetic. We have a lot of meshes, a lot of synthetic leathers, and there's really nothing about the materials that wowed me. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I thought it was okay. It wasn't flawless. There were some glue stains. There were some issues with the stitching, but they weren't major deal breaking issues. So yes, it doesn't live up to the typical made in USA or made in UK New Balance standard that I'm used to, but this pair was made in Vietnam. And for the price point you're paying, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Overall, while I'm a decent fan of the 1906R silhouette, I can't lie to you and say that I was overly in love with this colorway. To me, I just think it's okay. I do appreciate the uniqueness of this colorway, but it's not really one that I can see myself wearing that often. And it kind of has a hiking shoe vibe to it, but that's not really my personal aesthetic, but I can see this working very well on other people's feet. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the size New Balance 1906R in this mindful gray colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway? And for anyone watching, did you also pick up a pair of these? Did you pass? Either way, drop a comment down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.